Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today is cold and windy, but fortunately it is mostly dry for what is going to be my first drive in my brand new Mercedes AMG GTR Pro. Now last week we collected the car from the dealership, transported it straight here to Topaz Detailing in the trailer behind my G63. Of course, it now has full paint protection film that's been installed along with some custom touches that we have made to the stripes. Today we're going to be seeing how it looks in the finished state start up of a GT3 RS then we will be pulling it out there are plenty of very very nice cars inside one or two I would really quite like to show you and of course we're going to see how my GTR Pro looks let's head on in then it's much warmer in there and take a look That was the noise of an SLS AMG Black Series. You're gonna to have to wait just a moment to see my AMG GTR Pro. But this car just coming out in solar beam yellow. You know how much I love the SLS Black, particularly in the halo color. The AMG solar beam, the color it was launched in, that looks stunning. Not the ama only amazing looking car that is currently here at Topaz. In fact, let me come around and show you one or two things. So firstly, of course, my McLaren Senna is nearly done as well with the installation of the PPF on the parts that were replaced and repaired. So around the side, mostly completed, going through quality control checks before that will head on for its next stop. But take a look at this. This F12 TDF in one of the most stunning tailor-made configurations. This is Azuro Avio. You've got the colors of the French flag for the painted stripe over the entirety of the car. Navy blue carbon fiber all around the exterior parts. The painted shields, the interior spec is gorgeous. A stunning, stunning, stunning looking thing. I have a quick glimpse at that as well. The navy blue carbon of the engine bay. What a good looking car is this. F12 TDF finished in a unique spec. Wow, that is, that is stunning. In fact, you will detect some similarities with my car, of course, when it comes to the dual tone of the carbon fiber. Now, we need to wait a few more minutes while the final checks are being done on the GTR Pro, then we will reveal and take it out for the first drive. <laughs> 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12, 780 horsepower. All that, of course, to the rear wheels. Seven speed dual clutch in the TDM. Just listen to that low. Angry, aggressive. The hardcore version of the F12 Berlinetta. And my, does it look so nice. The owner of this car, I'm very jealous. The spec is simply, simply spectacular. A beautiful, beautiful car. Massive congratulations to them. It's all finished and we are rejoined now by Nabil, but it is time to reveal it. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's have a look. Definitely. Let's see how these stripes then have come out. There are, well, we'll do a quick run through as well over all of the process and what's gone into it Definitely. and the finishing touches, because I think that's quite interesting. But let's get this cover pulled back then and have a glimpse at how this looks. You are can you see it. Yeah, we can see a sneak peek <laughs> of the side stripe. Check this out then. Check out the appearance now of the GTR with these piano black stripes. These just look awesome. You'll see the details in a moment. This new secret thing for the future, but the finish of this car, it is looking so clean and tidy. Isn't it? I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the, the team has done a fantastic job on it. And I mean, I was watching your, one, your, your last video and, and people were asking, you know, why do you need to detail the car before pay, putting paper protection yeah. on? This is exactly why. To you look the like this. Yeah, exactly. It's the whole process, isn't it? It's enhancing it before you lock it in under the protection film. And that is why when you walk around here, the, the paintwork just looks incredible. And I can tell everybody from my experience of PPF cars, and of course I've had a number now that have come through, through the doors here at Topaz, it will remain looking perfect. You can't see any of the seams, you can't see any of the joins. Yeah. But this all is the edges are wrapped around, all the, the high impact areas are all doubled up as well. So there's a lot of detail that goes into it, but yeah, it, it looks absolutely amazing. Shall I, uh, do you like, the, do you like the, the stripes? Yeah, they've yeah? come out well. I was just gonna come around here because I think this is one of the best places where you can see how this works. Yeah, yeah. The stripe matches with the tint of the window, the gloss black of the spoiler, the black of the mirror caps, and the gloss black of the ceramic brakes. Exactly, and this actually isn't a vinyl wrap. No, so it's not vinyl at all. No, exactly. So it's something very, very special that we're working on at the moment. And if you can see, what I like about it the most is the fact that you, this is a normal paint. Uh, yeah, it looks the same. It looks exactly the same as that. The total so, same finish. It's not turf skin and it's not vinyl. It's something new <laughs> for the future. All secret for the, for the time being. But this is looking super, super good. Actually, I think the, it, it's still playing with the, the black and white grayscale theme 
of the GTR Pro, but 100%. changing from the satin grey to the black. Yeah. I, I, I actually really like it. When yeah. it was suggested, I was a bit nervous about doing this, but, but it you looks can see, awesome. You can see how it looks really nice. I mean, the only thing that's left now that we can, we can possibly do is obviously carbon on the... Yeah, these in carbon. They come plastic from yeah. factory. The only things, basically, all the rest is carbon, side skirts, those pieces. Alrighty, wow. So, yeah, I mean, let's, show you the, let's show you the engine bay as well. Engine bay, yeah, the yeah, final touches. Let me just come and grab this down here. Give that a pulse right in the middle. That's looking clean. Look at that. Again, this is part of the detailing process. So we obviously dress all the plastics mm -hmm. with um, the right materials. I mean, it's very, very important to make sure that everything from the inside and out is all perfect. So yeah. Like, it adds to the effect. I mean, we haven't really covered that on this car. You gotta give that a good slam. Yeah, yeah. It's noisy. Yeah. Perfect. But there's this whole final stage kind of clean and tidy up of the car. The interiors, the, the vacuuming, the cleaning and dressing of all the surfaces, all the materials. Exactly, and you know, what, the, the, the point is, if you're gonna keep the car for a long time especially, you wanna make sure you treat everything so that it lasts a long time and it keeps on looking new. If you yeah. don't treat it correctly, then, then it's just gonna deteriorate time and time again. So it's better to treat it right from the beginning and then it's a much easier job to maintain. Do you know something kind of funny at this stage? What's that? I've not actually sat in this car. Haven't you? No. Really? No, of course you haven't. Not the dealer. <laughs> not here. Yeah, I, didn't even I, drove, I drove the G63 That's with this right. trailer yeah, yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah. And uh, other people well, loaded and unloaded. So I guess this is going to be <laughs> live on camera. Might be a good thing to do. <laughs> the Try first time. Of course, we've got the seat protectors. So oh, we can I'll pull those what. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take but it sitting off. in the car myself for the first time. And also, by the way, even these pieces are PPF, of course. All the side sills, yeah. all the protection. And every single piece here as well has all been designed. So yeah. it's uh, templates. It's a bit of a, yeah. Okay. All right then, first time in the GTR Pro. Let's uh, swing in here and get ready. Oh, there we go. Looking nice. Look at that, it looks well, I can, amazing. I can no longer say I haven't sat in it yet. It's <laughs> phenomenal. I'll, huh? I'll have to wait though for the guys to pull it out and then uh, take it for the first drive. Obviously it's a new car, but I mean, it's the, the amount of things that we see from new cars when they come from factory, you wouldn't yeah. believe it, but it's just now, this is how it's supposed to look like and uh, it looks absolutely fantastic to be honest. I cannot wait. It is time to take the GTR Pro outside. I'll be jumping on board in just a second to take it for a drive. <laughs> Bubbling away, it's actually louder than I expected it to be. SH60 MEE, the best or nothing, got leave Daimler, but also the Senna is going to be heading out as well. We will come and have a quick listen to this just being fired into life. But this is going to be... <laughs> That's been around for a while. This is going to be heading on a transporter onto its next stop. Control and checking. It's so cool. I can't wait to take this out for a drive again. I cannot wait. Anyway, farewell to that lovely TDF. Farewell here from Topaz for now. But big thanks to the Beer Lemon team again. For me though, let's go get on board the Pro. Let's take it and drive back towards my storage. Coincidentally, the truck has just arrived to load up the Senna, but I'm running a bit behind schedule, so we actually need to crack on and get away and go out for the first drive in this. So let's bring it into life. V8 rolls away. It actually sounds much better than I thought it would, considering we have the OPF. Now, something about AMG GTs, which I love with my GTR, and is exactly the same in the Pro, to do with the doors. You have to give them a proper slam. If you don't pull them really firmly like that, basically what ends up happening is that you just have to open them and close them again properly. Of course, sat in here, very similar and familiar, we could say, to my old GTR. Same seats, same bucket seats, same seating position right back towards the rear wheels. Gigantic long bonnet out in front, but there are a few things that are different. Namely, a digital dashboard display, a larger central screen, a nice 355 spider going past. We now have the touch controls in here as well. We also have the touch response controls on the new steering wheel including exhaust on. Now I do have to drive gently, of course this car is being run in so I cannot boot it. We've actually got the notes on breaking in a new vehicle on a sticker right in front of my eye line. So up to a thousand miles, 1500 kilometers, no full load operation, no kick down, no going over four and a half thousand RPM, no going over 85 miles an hour or 140 kilometers per hour. Alas, that is something you have to do for a thousand miles before you can start driving it a little bit harder. I will do my best to do it properly but for all sorts of things, warranty, longevity of the engine, servicing, I like to kind follow the manufacturer's recommended instructions so that's what I'm going to be doing in this car we've got the seven speed dual clutch gearbox into gear and uh, actually before I do that let me just pop it back into park one of the mirrors I just need to adjust ever so slightly but the seats no uh, 
electric seats because we have the bucket, you slide it manually, now we can go into gear and uh, head on out then. First drive in the GTR Pro. It feels very familiar already. I do need to watch out because of course the front splitter is significantly lower than it was in my old GTR. You don't have a lift system, but like the GTR, you do have rear wheel steering, so you notice that immediately actually. It turns, I think, up to three degrees in this car, which means that you can really turn around on a dime on a sixpence, just like in the middle of the road. Oh, the steering feel is so good. I already love it. I already absolutely love it. That deep grumble in the background. We're running ahead for a short little drive for the time being. At least it's dry though. That, like I said at the beginning, is always a big deal when it's your first drive in a brand new car. Screen looks good, so much information as well. Tire pressures, temperatures, everything you could possibly want to see. Ah, oh, it's here, GTR Pro. It was a long, long wait for this car, but it's now heading back towards the garage as we embark on this first little journey. This is proving to be a pretty frustrating first drive. It is the afternoon in London. It has basically been bumper to bumper traffic since I left Topaz. We have barely even been able to get close to the 30 or 40 mile per hour speed limits. And of course, I'm also driving the car in automatic and comfort mode. We're not in sport, we're not in sport plus, we're not in individual, and we're especially not in race. At this stage, at least, we will get to all of that in the future. Everything needs bedding in, so things like the carbon ceramic brakes, the new tires, it's all new. It all wants to be looked after properly, and I care quite a lot, because this is an expensive car obviously the warranty is very valuable and I want to look after it properly I want to have a good time with it in the future so we're basically cruising automatic no kind of aggressive downshifts nothing like that just uh, in a bit of traffic and a random thing about Mercedes cars and AMGs is when you press the brake firmer they go into hold where it automatically holds uh, the car on the brakes for you rather than creeping forward just a small little detail if you might not have known that there are a few other things that are different about this and one thing I immediately notice when I'm driving in comparison with my GTR is having that half roll cage behind me because of course oh yeah we have stop start of course in the rear view mirror all you can basically see is the top bar of that and not much else it is a significant inconvenience to the view of course it also takes away a little bit of the luggage space back there but not too much you can still use this car pretty much every day and transport some luggage if you wanted to go on a road trip um, but combine that with the lower front end and obviously it makes it a slightly less practical car a slightly less dailyable Grand Tourer oh it's all getting a little bit crazy up in front of me right now with cars and vans and trucks that are all trying to go around each other oh the afternoon rush hour hey well I'm quite happy to chill out because well I'm a little bit behind schedule I'm not on a massive massive rush uh, stop start in a supercar always a little bit unusual. Basically though, I'm sorry this isn't really the most ideal first drive. It will just be a couple of miles in towards the car storage where I keep my cars in central London, um, where I want to show you a few more things as well, what I've got in the back of the car, because there was something, actually there is something back there that I didn't realise I was going to have in the car um, that hasn't been installed. I'd kind of forgotten that I'd asked not to have it. You'll see what I mean in a second. But basically, it's going to be this. It's going to be this this afternoon. I will try and get this car out for a proper drive as soon as I can, but I am a bit in the hands of the weather because we kind of want to keep it clean and looking nice, at least while it's new. So um, yeah, we'll see what's possible. For now though, it feels so good to be back in an AMG GT. I used my previous GTR so much, and this one obviously a completely different look for me, the white paint work with now the gloss black stripes as well. Yes, anyway, traffic onwards. Let's see what happens. We are finally starting to flow, and I cannot believe the poor standard of driving. This guy in the Citroen just here, he is shocking. Everybody around just doesn't seem to have a clue how to drive. I don't know if I'm being oversensitive because I'm in a brand new car, but people are complete morons. I, I, I don't know what to say. Anyway, if I get safely back to storage, I will be happy because right now I cannot believe what is going on. I guess everybody's a bit impatient, unhappy, traffic, they wanna go and do Christmas shopping, but my word, I, I'm absolutely shocked. Yep, 40 mile an hour limit, he doesn't care. <laughs> oh, wow, that Citroen, I don't know if you saw that, he completely cut out that scooter. What is going on? Ah, okay, I'm, 
just, I'm just continuing into London and that'll be that. Well, I have made it back to the storage where the Pro is now parked with some of the other Schmeemobiles, but my word, the driving out there was particularly peculiar. Very clearly Christmas time, a lot of people absolutely all over the place. There is one thing though that is very different about the new car to the others that are here, where everything else is pretty colorful. That is of course completely grayscale. And I think maybe I'll just pop up some of the other covers just to see all of the cars in a little bit of a line together. These two do actually share some things kind of in common. Two seat Grand Tourers with front mounted V8s. Very different though, naturally aspirated, twin turbo, six speed manual, seven speed dual clutch, front mounted, mid front mounted, slight difference, but both rear wheel drive, very different amounts of power as well. Then of course we have the GTC4 Lusso, which is I guess in some ways also comparable, given that again, the engine is up front and it's a Grand Tourer, but with four seats, four wheel drive, as opposed to two seats, two wheel drive. Then we have the Ford GT, which uh, is sitting very pretty, waiting for its new Goodwill cover that will be arranged via Topaz. And of course, we also have the 675 LT Spider in the purple. So we've got lots and lots of color. And then we get to the GTR Pro with not so much color, but with, in the boot, a few things that I wanted to show you. So I've got the key just here, which I will come around and show you very quickly in the back. I don't have a trickle charger for the car. That is something I will need to look into. But back here, let's open this up, carefully does it. Inside this box, what I mentioned was that we have the harnesses. Now I knew that the car came with the harnesses because I requested not to have them installed. But we also have in here a fire extinguisher, all part of the track package to have all of those fully fitted. Maybe we'll do that in the future, but not for the moment. And then in here we have the AMG car cover, which I will of course pop onto the car later on when I leave this sleeping pretty in its new home, but a very nice gift from the Mercedes-Benz dealer, Mercedes-Benz Brentford. And then we just have the usual bag uh, of bits and pieces of goodies, the uh, user book. Actually, I'm gonna open this up. We've got the locking wheel nuts in there. But one other thing inside that little silver box, we just pulled this out, is that in here you have the little piece that goes on the back of the key that you get with all AMG cars with the AMG a full to back crest on the back of it. So you get one of those to go on one of your two keys. But for the time being, I guess I will leave that all be. I think I should be able to close it down as it is just there for the moment. So yes, this is home. Of course, we've got the stripe coming over the roof. It is quite discreet and subtle over the top, but it was as well when it was sat in gray. So not too much different. And I actually think the black, the gloss black, the piano black looks super cool. That was a nice touch to add with the guys at Topaz. So. The GTR Pro is home, the new Schmeemobile. It has been a long time coming, but a very, very much desired follow-up to the AMG GTR Coupe that did so many miles and many videos on the channel. So how do you think it fits? Do you like it? Are you guys fans of the new car? I will certainly have a proper first drive for you in the not very distant future to actually drive it. I know this was a bit of a, I mean, it was technically the first drive, the first time I've sat in it, but it wasn't really a drive. You can't call it that when it's traffic in central London. Anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, that is it for this time, but I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.